All right, so it's officially the holiday season. I can definitely feel it. It feels like things are slowing down quite a bit. Um, in terms of rates, things are staying pretty steady. Uh, we have seen a, a slight drop in rates with our lenders, still nothing, you know, crazy. Uh, in my opinion, it seems like a lot of lenders are kind of just writing this year off. They're done. They're closing it out. Uh, we may see a couple of lenders come in the market and be more competitive next year when they want to start ramping up their volume. Um, so I do anticipate we might see some, um, you know, better programs in the beginning of the year. That said, the big thing I want to talk about today is the new um, rent protections that they're going to be proposing in the city of San Diego. So there was already a law passed in Chula Vista. It is extremely invasive, in my opinion, for landlords. I mean, basically, as landlords, we are small business owners, and the city is basically trying to come in and really get into your business and tell you how to operate and what to do. Um, so, of course, there's always the few bad actors that make a good case for um, putting these laws in place. But in the city of Chula Vista now, as a landlord, you can literally be arrested and go to jail uh, for a... Um, an eviction uh, without cause, or if, if you, you know, may, maybe lied on paperwork or you didn't handle the, ex the eviction properly or whatever. They could literally send you to jail. And then the other thing is, is that if you're doing a cash for keys agreement with your tenant, that tenant now has 45 days after they leave to change their mind. So you could vacate your unit, do the renovation, rent it out to someone else. And if you do all of that within a 45 day period, that prior tenant can literally come back to you and sue you. Um, and uh, try to get back into the unit. Uh, so it could just be like a huge mess for you. So basically when you do cash for keys, it's no longer just done. Um, there's a lot of other things in the law that are highly invasive to um, apartment owners. And it's something that we're going to be getting involved in much more and trying to at least stop this from happening or slow it down in the city of San Diego because there's a lot of really ridiculous things that they're trying to do that are not even necessarily helpful for tenants. Um, so basically what they're trying to do is instead of, you know, there used to be where tenant protection sort of kicked in after the two year mark, um, they want it to hit day one. So you could basically, let's say, have a person move in for one day into your property. What This is what they're trying to pass. They move in for one day and let's say a problem breaks out in the property and they can't live there anymore, like, you know, a huge pipe bursts or something crazy happens in the unit. They live there for one day, you're still going to have to pay them three months of rent to help with relocation. Um, there's a lot of things like that. So uh, they're trying to say, you know, there's certain no fault evictions. They want to say certain things are considered a no fault eviction, which means you still have to pay them three months rent. If it's a senior, you have to, they want you to help them even more. Um, if you want to get a tenant out um, and they have kids, you can't do it during the school year. Um, there's all kinds of things that they're doing here. Oh, they don't even want this just to apply to our long-term tenants. If you own a vacation rental or a hotel, they also want your guests to have the same rights as tenants. So um, basically, they're just really getting involved in our business uh, and hampering our business and making it more difficult to do business, um, which is also going to, you know, maybe not make owners as motivated to fix up their properties or to own property or things like that. It's just becoming uh, a situation where San Diego is going to start looking a lot more like San Francisco. Uh, so if we don't get involved and we don't do something. So um, I do recommend that you join any of the, you know, the local apartment association here. Um, you start getting involved, looking for the meetings. Uh, I'm going to send out some information. We're going to put together an event for all of this. But this is definitely a very serious issue that if you plan on having a long career as a landlord or owning apartments or hotels uh, or vacation rentals, any of it, you're going to want to be involved in this because uh, this sort of slipped through in Chula Vista and we don't want that to happen here. So we're definitely going to have to put some resources behind it and do what we can to slow it down. And some of these things that they're trying to do are unconstitutional. So somebody just has to try and slow this process down and it's got to be a group effort. But there are a lot of changes they're going to start trying to make and they're going to try try to start making them very quickly. So I think city council was or was chosen or being chosen this week or something like that. And they're going to have meetings like immediately. This is like an active, ongoing discussion, and is something that is at the forefront of what they're trying to do. Um, so, anyways, if you want more information, feel free to reach out to me. I am going to include a couple of links 
in this email so you guys could check out the verbiage and do your own research, but uh, there is more to come on this.